Hey everyone, this is Tyson from Jounce, and today I'm going to show you how to use the document editor and its slash AI command. So let's go ahead and give this a name. Okay, now you have this uh, unique slash command function that will bring up these templates. So if I hit forward slash and then I start typing something up, I can uh, choose a template. So one shot blog post, for example, and we are going to add semantic search here in the near future. So by the time you watch this video, if it is not already here, we are absolutely adding that. So you can type in just generally what you mean and it will find a relevant template since we have so many. You can see how many we have here. There's a ton. Um, so, you know, you're going to benefit from some semantic search, but I like to use one shot blog post. And I, I just have to scroll down to it with the keypad and I'm going to hit enter. And let's go ahead and actually use the prompt that we see. So let's do ethical AI in marketing. And I'm going to say creative. I don't have to add a tone of voice, but I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to say uh, chief marketing officers. Okay. And I'm just going to hit enter now. Okay. And just like that, there we go. The longer posts like the one shot blog post and a few of the other ones do take a little bit longer. But now I have this entire out output here and all I have to do is hit enter to keep it. Now, if for whatever reason I want it to rewrite or I want to escape, I also have those options. But for now, I'm just going to hit enter. And there we go. We have now added this entire one shot blog post to the document. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this headline and I'm going to paste the headline there. And there we go. Now, if I wanted to make this blog post longer, for example, then I can look through this and see where that might make sense. But first, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I want to break this up a little bit here. I might add an image if I wanted to add an image here. Okay, let's actually add this AI created image. Okay, there we go. I'm actually going to move it up. Now we'll keep it there. And this is a pretty short description here. So let's go ahead and take this and I'm going to do a sentence expander and I'm going to put that in and I'm going to say creative here, hit enter. And just like that, instead of this short sentence we had here, we have this entire post. So I'm going to hit uh, enter and then we can actually delete this original one. So now I've uh, added a much more comprehensive output. So I can do that repeatedly as much as I want. If I wanted to actually add some more uh, content here, I could come here and say that, you know, the impact of ethical AI and marketing. And let's go ahead and generate an, a full outline for this. Hit enter again. Okay, so I'm gonna actually hit retry in this one. So I'm just gonna click the R function. Okay, that's a little bit more detailed there. So I'm gonna keep that by hitting enter. And we can remove the headline. We already have that. And let's look at this. So we have some other things that we didn't have before. So I'm going to actually grab this and we can kill all that information. Again, we're adding to the blog post that we already had. So we have what is ethical AI? How can ethical AI help your marketing strategies, etc. So let's put that in there. The benefits of, of ethical AI and marketing. So let's, let's actually just take this and let's see if we can uh, remove the bullet points and make that a heading two. And now Let's come here and let's try sentence expander again. Let's say the benefits of ethical AI and marketing. And we'll say creative. Hit enter. Okay. So just like that, now I have an entire output based on just that one input. So let's go ahead and keep that. And I can do that over and over again until I have a blog post that I like. Now, I like to, to read through this whole thing. Let's just remove this for now. I like to read through my posts and edit them and fine tune them because this is just really inspiration to give you a good you know percentage of your blog. But you should add your own details. So for example, if we're talking about AI being used to automate your customer service inquiries, I might also want to do some linking. So I could come here and say uh, AI for customer service inquiries, because we want to add some context. And this is AI and customer service. So you should read through some of these. This is you know 11 examples of AI and customer service. So if I read that and it's something that I like, then of course I'm going to come here and now I want to add some linking uh, for my, my blog post. So that's a good way to build it out. And once you're done, you can actually copy this whole thing and it will retain its HTML structure. So that is the fastest way to use the Jounce document editor in the current private beta state. And we have a lot more coming. Now, if you find quotes, for example, then you can also come in here and let's say that uh, we have a quote here. You know, I might want to add some quotes as well. I might want to break, you know, a section down before I get to the conclusion. I might want to hit enter here, add a line break here. It's just really up to us how we want to go about structuring our blog post. But I'll leave it to you to play around.